to all my short men out there, women love short men. If you're insecure about your height, man, here are some things that you should start doing today. Stay tuned. What's going on, guys? Kayvon Rashad. We're helping men get fit physically, spiritually, and emotionally. And today I'm going to be giving guys that are short or claim to be short just a few things that can help them with, you know, with women and just with themselves, right? But before we get into the video, make sure you guys like this video. Make sure you guys share this video to another brother. And make sure you guys comment and subscribe to the channel if you're a man that's trying to get fit physically, spiritually, and emotionally. All right, so I got a comment on one of my videos about dude saying he's like short. You know, he got a problem with his dating life and stuff. And for the record, I am not a dating coach. I'm not a seducing coach. I'm not none of that shit, bro. I'm just a man that wants to help men get fit physically, spiritually, and emotionally, man. That's my goal, man. So I'm trying to help more men get fit be more confident in themselves and just build themselves up and, you know, be, be better people. But I do know that these videos are very attractive and I know that a lot of dudes be wanting advice. So I'm going to give you guys my best advice. Just remember the first thing you got to understand, bro. Women love short men. You don't got to be no six, nine fucking giant, bro. You don't got to be six, nine, bro. You don't got to be six, three, bro, bro. My father was 5'6". My father was 5'6". He had a running back build. He was 5'6". He had three kids, three different baby moms. Let that sink in. Let that sink in. 5'6". He had three kids. He had my older brother. He was married to my older brother's mom. Then he got my mom. Had me. Then he got another woman and had her. And hey, you know my little brother. But you gotta keep in mind, bro. Women do not really give a fuck how tall you are. They don't have their measuring tapes out saying, "Oh, you ain't six foot. You're five eleven. So we we can't fuck with you." That is not what happens, bro. You gotta think, bro. The average woman, most women, they just want their man taller than them when they have on heels. They just want their man that's taller than them with heels on. So let's say you're out with your girl. She has on heels. She just wants you to be taller than her, right? But even still, some women, a lot of women don't really give a fuck about the height, all right? It's really your aura, it's your energy, your confidence, right? See, a lot of you guys are in your own head, bro. A lot of you guys are really in your own head. There's women. Now, there's women out here that they want a man that's tall, but it's not a specific height. You feel me? It's not really a specific height they want. Unless they're trying to make these D1 babies and shit. They want to make have a tall kid. But even still, they don't really give a fuck about the height as much as people say. People think you got to get off the line. Got to go outside. I feel like a lot of men and a lot of people just need to go outside and see for themselves. You got to go outside and see for yourself, man. It's It's not that complicated, bro. But you gotta go outside. If you if you watching these twenty v one videos, you are, you watching these pop balloon videos. Of course, they are gonna say they want these tall dudes. Of course, you are gonna feel some type of way because they saying you gotta have money, you gotta have status, bro. It's not the case. Those are nice things to have, but at the same time, you don't need those stuff. You don't need that stuff. That shit's all in your head. But I'm gonna give you guys some game. If you're if you're under five eight, here are the few things I'm gonna tell you you should start doing. The first thing you need to do, man, is get your body in great shape. Like you need to build a nice physique. You feel me? Building a nice physique, like I've been saying in my my previous videos, it's gonna it's more for you than for the people, right? It's more for you because you built this nice nice physique. You're in great shape. You got some nice traps. You got nice arms. Shoulders don't swole, your legs are built. That is attractive, but you're gonna feel good. Hopefully, you feel good about yourself. You're gonna feel strong. You lifting these heavy ass weights. You're working out, so you're on a different frequency. You're, you're eating right, so your body's coming together. You chisel, swole, jack. You gonna feel good about yourself, and because you feel good about yourself, you're going to give off the aura that you deserve to get those. Quad, high quality women. You're going to get off the energy like, oh, I, you, I deserve you. You feel me? You have to get in shape. It's not just 
It's not because you want to attract these people. It's because you want to feel better about yourself. And because you feel better about, about yourself, you're going to attract the women you want, attract the nice things you want because you're feeling good. See, if you feel bad about yourself, you don't feel good about yourself. You're going to attract shit that's not good. That's just how the that's just how the law of attraction works, man. Your mind, you gotta shift your your reality. You shift your mentality, you can shift your reality, right? But again, it starts with getting in shape. You gotta get in shape. Getting in shape is the first thing you should do. You can't be five six and overweight. There's some men that's short as fuck and overweight, and they still feel confident in themselves. Why? It's their belief system. It's their belief system. But again, you gotta start with getting in shape. That is what I recommend every man to do, whether you're five eight or six eight. But you need to be in shape and get a nice physique, right? You don't gotta get no bodybuilder physique, but you gotta get your best physique. But again, if you're a shorter man, you gotta really get built and you gotta get in nice shape. Number two is very simple: you gotta improve your style, your appearance. Again, you got you okay. You got in, you got in shape. You're working out. You're getting in shape. You gotta make sure you fly. You got to be fly. You got to dress nice. You got to smell good. Your grooming got to be on port. Like your appearance has to speak for itself. Like I said in a previous video, even when you're not talking, you still talking. You got to be able to, to make noise without even talking. When you step in the room, people can just feel your aura. Like I said, the first one, you get in shape and you're feeling good about yourself. Now you put some clothes over that and you're smelling good. Oh my gosh. You getting your haircut every week, like I be telling y'all boys, bro. You're going to feel good about yourself, and that's really the most important thing. All these points are basically for you. It's not for the women. It's not for the girls. It's for you. Because if you feel good about yourself, you're going. People can feel that. People can feel that you feel good about yourself. You know, it ain't cocky. It's not arrogant, right? You just feel good about yourself. Everybody should feel good about themselves. Especially if you put in the work to feel good about yourself. But again, it's about you. All these things, I'm telling you, these two things right now are strictly for you. All right? But you got to make sure your appearance on point. Make sure you're dressing nice. Make sure you're wearing clothes that complement your body. Wearing clothes that complement your body. That's key. Smelling good. I just picked up some cologne today. You got to smell good, bro. Women love a man that smells good. Women love a man that smells good and can dress. You could be a fucking four on the on the SMV scale, but you got a nice haircut. You smell good. That can take you to like a seven point five or eight easily. So again, you got to get in shape, and then you you got to dress fly. You got to put the cologne on, and you got to make sure your haircut is on point. You got to be. You should be getting a haircut once a week. Or once every two weeks. I personally go three to four times a month. But you should be getting a haircut at least two to four times a month. At least two times a month for sure. But again, <clears throat> your your appearance is important. Your physical appearance is important. Don't let any of these motherfuckers tell me you got to do these pickup lines and shit. No. Your appearance matters. People can only judge you based off your appearance and the aura you give off. So again... Get in shape and then put some nice clothes on, getting your hair cut, smelling good. All right. Now, the last one, I'm going to tell you, you might have to go to physical. You might have to go to therapy, man. Listen, therapy is a great thing. You might have some trauma from when you were younger being picked on. I know when I was a kid, I used to get picked on. I was chunky. Right. And I didn't feel good about myself. I'm in therapy. I'm in therapy right now trying to get through that shit. Not just that, but other stuff in life. But again, Go to therapy. Talk to someone about it. Because at the end of the day, you can be doing all these things. There's people that got all these things. They got the money, the cars, clothes. They got all these things. They still feel insecure about their height. They got to talk about it. You got to talk about it, man. Go to a therapist. Trust me. A therapy works. But you got to be willing to do the work in therapy. You got to address those issues. It might be some trauma you got behind being short. But you got to get through that shit. You got to get through that shit. Okay, you know you're insecure about your height. What the fuck are you going to do about it? You can't control your height. One thing you have to remember. 
You can't control your height. You didn't ask to be 5'7". I don't think no one has ever asked to be 5'7". I am 5'11". I'm 6 foot on a great day, depending on what shoes I'm wearing. I'm, perfect, I'm perfectly fine with that height. Even if I was 5'8", five, 5'9", five, I still wouldn't care. Because again, women love short men. They date all types of men. You got to find out the girls that like short men. It's literally that simple. It's literally that simple. I didn't say it was easy. I just said it was simple. But again, it starts with you. You have to feel good about yourself. If you don't feel good about yourself, this shit doesn't matter. This shit does not matter. You feel me? I hope this video helps you, man. If you are a short man, send this to another short man. Really listen to what I'm saying. Really watch this video again. You might have to watch this shit a few times. But you can listen to this video all you want. You have to apply this shit. If you're not in shape, go and get in fucking shape. If you're dripping on point, go on Pinterest. Look at find someone that you like their style and and follow and just mimic them. It's okay. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. Smell good. Smell good. I'm a, I, I, I might do a video on cologne. I don't want to give you all my secrets now, but I might do a video on smell goods, right? Nice, affordable smell goods. Haircut. Get, get you a fucking haircut, bro. It's that simple. I know barbers talk taxing a lot, but listen, you got to invest in yourself. You don't think you, you don't feel like you're worthy of going to get a haircut once a week. You don't feel like you're worthy enough to get a haircut once a week. Once every two weeks. Come on, you you owe that to yourself. You gotta love yourself. You gotta respect yourself. That's really the key. And then talking to someone. You gotta talk to someone. Trust me, it's worth it. Talk to a professional, a licensed therapist. Don't talk to your homegirl. Don't talk to your homeboy. Talk to a licensed professional. They have the training and knowledge to help you get through these things. But you gotta be willing to do the work. All right, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for the next video. Don't forget to like my shit, comment, and folks, your boy. Peace.